You guys, it is an absolutely beautiful day here in East Tennessee. It's 75 and look at the sky. It is absolutely gorgeous out today. I wish every day could be like this. I just love this weather. So y'all, I've got some stuff to do before my husband gets home from work. We've got one panel left on the greenhouse to do um, right here, which is gonna be actually not as bad as the others because we're on the end and we can kind of reach the stuff and we're not in the middle climbing across. So this should go well, I should not say that. But last night went well, it looks wonderful, it's so clear. But there's a huge difference in the clarity, look at that. But it looks amazing, it's awesome. So we'll get the last one done and then I gotta get my greenhouse back in order. It, it's a mess in here. When we peeled all of the stuff off, I've got caulk laying around in here, so I gotta get that cleaned up. I gotta get plants moved back out here. And then I've gotta go down to my watermelon cantaloupe garden. My father-in-law got some fabric to lay down in that garden, so we're gonna try that this year. Um, I hope he got the right stuff, but um, last year that garden just turned into a jungle and it happened quick. And at that point, it got to the point of like no return and I couldn't even get in there. So it's really hard to teal when you've got vining plants going through there. So we just didn't have the right system going. We're gonna try the fabric in that garden and see how it works. So I think I'm gonna put some of that down in just a little bit. Okay guys, I thought I was going to bring all my plants and clean in here first, but I think I'll wait until the sun moves over the greenhouse because it is hot in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can locate this weed fabric. I don't know where it's at. I've also got to pull weeds in my onion row. We're starting to get a lot of grass running through those onions. I've gotta do that too. Chickens are taking their dust baths. I'm gonna check their water. Oh yeah, they've got plenty of water. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Y'all think I'm gonna put my divider back in here. I'm gonna raise some more cochins and I'm probably gonna do it on this side just to separate them while they're little. So that's coming up in the near future. I've gotta get my eggs set. And they're from some frizzles, so I hopefully we'll have some frizzles. I'll, they're my favorite, I love them. All right, on to the weeds. Oh, it's part of gardening. Weeds. If you can get them before they start really getting out of hand, that's better. Okay, so I've got a hold of my father-in-law. I think we've located the weed fabric. So I gotta go retrieve that. And then I'll get back to them weeds. All right, guys, I found it. Y'all, I didn't think this through. I should have done this earlier this morning. You really should do gardening stuff in the morning or late afternoon. So we'll see how far I get with this today. If I don't finish this up right now, we'll be working on this either this evening or early in the morning when it's still nice and cool. I've never used this stuff in the garden before, so I'm not really sure how it's gonna do. I'm thinking about just trying it in the one garden over there, and if I like it, I can start incorporating it in this garden. I just don't know yet. So you mound watermelons and cantaloupe. And I see the mounds right here. One, two, three, four, five, I do believe. So I'm just gonna kinda go in between all those and maybe end up cutting a spot out for those and hold it down with some stone or brick. That's my plan. All right, guys, to be continued on the weed fabric, it is just too hot right now to put that out. And it's foolish because I know it's gonna cool off this evening, so I'll either work down there this evening or in the morning. All right, next on the list. I'm gonna install a fan another place in my greenhouse, see if I can get it cooled off in there a little bit. So that's what I'm doing now. Y'all, I'm getting a lot of these little wild daisies this year. 
not so pretty. Look at those. They're coming up around my fence posts. I just love them. They're so, so quaint. All right, my husband's made it home, so it's about go time on this last panel. And it's finally cooled off in a little bit in the greenhouse, so I can move some plants back in there. You guys, I want to show you who had some babies just a minute ago. So I put one of my reds in here because I knew she was about to pop. And look, she had some babies actually in the last couple hours because I moved her over to a cleaner breeder box. Uh, probably around lunch. And look, she had babies. So I'm gonna leave those in here just because they're so tiny. And I love getting some reds and I don't want any of them at risk for eating. Now, I've got a lot of babies in here a lot of hiding spots, but this guarantees that they'll be safe until they get a little bit bigger. We're at it again. Time to go in there. They're on there. Oh. <laughs> Big Move his ladder. That didn't bother me none. Got it out. You what? I had some of the bacon that you fried up there, and by some of it, I mean all of it. Mm, well, I guess they want something separate then. Because it's bacon. <laughs> I hope you got word from Scum. Why? Because I stuck a nail in my arm. You did? Yeah. I don't Probably going to have to either get work from Scum or Sue, one of the two. I won't get much out of either one. Well, that's probably true. Still gotta put this last piece of trucks on. Correct. But we've got the hard parts done and I think it looks good. Let me walk up here and gander at it. All right, y'all, that's what it looks like. And we're tired and we're glad it's over. Now, for the last part of it, it's just gonna be cleanup. So I may end up finishing the rest of it tomorrow morning. All right, food break. I made some bacon earlier. My husband says he's been into it already. But I think it's gonna be a bacon, egg, and cheese night. All right, we're finishing up. Capping the ends off. And they fit in there perfectly because of the grooves. Uh, I did that <laughs> on purpose. Planned all that out. We were just lucky. And what'd you say, honey? We better be what? Better be lucky than good sometimes. <laughs> I'm still debating the shade cloth. We're not 100% sold on it. Um, if I don't do the shade cloth, I'm gonna have some good fans going in here. Cause I really, the only fan that I have is the vent fan, but um, maybe I need a big fan in front of the door to pull in some air, circulate some air in here. And also y'all, I have these little vents right here to my basement. And in my basement, it is, I mean, 30 degrees cooler in there. When my vent fan comes on, it pulls that air out to my greenhouse. So I may, I don't know, may have set me up some sort of system to pull some of this out in here. Well, we'll see, experiments. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is another beautiful day here in East Tennessee. Got up early this morning, because I gotta get down here and get these weeds where it gets hot and try to figure out how to get this garden fabric out. 70 degrees right now, so time to start. I need to open up my greenhouse really good though so it doesn't get too hot in here today. Cleaned up a little bit last night and I was gonna go look into a shade cloth option this morning, but I may go ahead and do the stuff I've gotta do before it gets hot and figure this out. Look at that. Bird already pooped on it. <laughs> Christened it. Um, 
good thing is, is I can clean it pretty good because I usually stand on my porch right there and I just hose it off. So, um, oh, look at this, guys. Look at my crown of thorns. Is that not beautiful? I love when that thing blooms. It's just so unique. Let's head down to the garden. All right, back again, and it is much cooler. So I've ran out of fabric, got one more hole to do, and should probably run another row of this just so the weeds don't get out of hand going that way. Um, maybe even a little more, but here's what it looks like. Got the holes in, and in theory, it'll work. I'm not sure that my father-in-law got the exact correct fabric. He went out and got fabric like that you would use in a flower bed, but it did say garden fabric, but most of the stuff I see for garden is, is much thicker. So, I don't know if this will work. To be determined. What are y'all saying? Chickens can make some of the weirdest noise sometimes, y'all. Okay, I got a bucket of my chicken compost. So I'm just pulling weeds and trying to thicken it up with this stuff. Onions are coming up really nice. So are the weeds. <laughs> Uh, wouldn't it be so nice if we had a world without weeds? Guess we don't live in a perfect world, though. Weeds is like sin. This creeps in. If you don't remove it, it destroys stuff. Gardening has a lot of messages in it. I use them a lot in my Sunday school class. To the kids. You can really see a message in it almost every day you come out here. I had to go run some errands earlier and I've been back down here weeding the tomatoes and the onions and putting stuff out of my chicken coop in here to cover up some of these plants. And I've been very fortunate because the weather has stayed pretty cloudy today. So I've been able to work longer down here, which is good. I'm about done. I'll show you guys kind of what I've done and we'll finish up this last tomato plant. And then I think my cucumbers are coming up. Let's, let's go see what's coming up. Y'all, I just go in the chicken coop and I take a bucket because I have straw that's been in here all fall and winter. We have like a fall festival at our church and I buy extra straw for us. And then I put it in here over the winter and give it a place for the chickens to kind of play around in. And when I raise chicks, it's a place for them to go in and stay warm. I hang a sweeter heater from here, down in here, and I raise up a bunch of coaxing chicks over the winter. And they were super warm, didn't lose any of them. Worked out really good. And then after the winter's over, I utilize a lot of this straw for my garden and then also swept out a bunch of old bedding and put my compost pile and been turning it because I've got some really rich dirt at the bottom of that but um, chickens are gonna help they've been helping me all day and I just take this stuff in here scoop it up Potatoes are up. 
very excited about that. Those were so delicious last year. We're gonna teal in between the rows. We've got six feet between the rows. And then I've been pulling weeds and just kinda coating the dirt around these plants with my straw. Now check out my tomatoes. They look so good. Y'all been weeding these two and then putting extra straw. I put some straw the other day on here, but I really wanted to thicken it up. Look at that. They look so good. Now I've got cucumbers coming up right here. I'm gonna pull these weeds. We are going to string these up on the fence this year on the hog panel and see how that goes. New method. And I've got my ochre coming up here, 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 all the way through here. And that'll be enough ochre till the end of time because it produces so good here up until frost dates. And corn's coming up. Y'all, it's looking good. Pretty satisfying. Free food. I think it's break time. <laughs> 